You like your school? Hey, space case. Oh. It's fine. Do you even have any new friends yet? No. Do you? I will. That's a look at Before I Change My Mind, a Canadian coming-of-age story about a new student who forges a complicated relationship with the school bully. And joining me now is director Trevor Anderson and star Vaughn Murray. I said that right? Yeah. All right. <laughs> so nice having you both in here. Thank you so much. Great to be here. <laughs> this movie is so good. And before we get into everything, I just had to say you are so good in this. And this Thank is your you. first time in a, in a movie? Yes. My first time in a feature film. Trevor, this must have been so fun for you to watch something that not only you directed, that you co-wrote watching this character Robin come to life so well. You know, we knew the movie would live or die based on who we found to play Robin. Yeah. And so we breathed such a sigh of relief when we found Vaughn. because <laughs> They're the kind of actor who, you know, you've seen it. The, they can let the camera see them think, which is a, a dream as a director. <laughs> we could have told this whole movie in a close up on Vaughn. Okay, what can you tell us about this story and why it was so important to tell this story? I grew up queer in Alberta in the 80s, which is when and where this movie is set. Uh, so it was really natural for me to want to tell that story. Um, and, you know, it's interesting because t we wanted to have a character where we never pinned down a gender for the hero. And that's not to say that in 1987 in Alberta this kid would have been getting away with some proto non-binary identity. I think off camera they would have been getting he, him or she, her pronouns. But we just thought, what happens if we don't point the camera at that and we leave all that off screen? What does that leave room for in our story? How much more story can we tell and how much more fun can we have with this kid's life if, if that's not the focus, if it's not uh, an issue film? I, you know what, I, I, I noticed that even watching this, and the comedy in this too is really funny. It's, yeah. it's great. Thank you. Okay, so what was this experience like for you then? Not only, of course, this being your first film, but bringing a character like Robin to life. Honestly, it was probably one of my best on-set experiences that I've ever had. This is the first non-binary character that I ever got to play, so representing myself, not just seeing myself in a film, but representing myself and my community was such a great honor and I was just so excited. Honestly, the the crew, you know, the cast, everyone was so amazing, so kind. So it was, I was really lucky to have this experience. Now, I know you didn't grow up in the 80s, but this film takes place in the 80s. What surprised you most about that time period? And you can talk about the big hair because there's a lot of big hair Ooh, yeah, in, probably, this, in this movie. <laughs> probably the big hair, honestly. And just how like mean <laughs> the bullies were. Uh, I mean, Carter did some really questionable things in this film and so did Robin so I think that was kind of a big shocker to me as well yeah. but the big hair is definitely the big hair was yeah. did you have fun kind of recreating the 80s you know people ask me sometimes did you have to talk to these kids about gender and sexuality and I say no I had to talk to them about bangs <laughs> <laughs> because you know I wanted all the girls in the movie to have the 80s bangs and none of them were gonna do it of except course. I think Katie had the nerve yeah, yeah. Um, and so she got the bangs and the side pony and uh, the rest of, of the of the girls lost? who play the female characters you know we had to sort of find a compromise with curtain bangs because then they could still well, look you know <laughs> okay at school in real life Isabella. yeah uh, we talked a lot about hair on this film. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I get it because it's its own character. Yeah. This movie. yeah. I saw the different hairstyles and I loved it. Uh, you know, we've uh, seen names like uh, Tegan and Sarah and uh, Elliot Page uh, as celebrities who were very vocal and mm -hmm. uh, joining the campaign to protest the Alberta government's attempts to prevent trans youth from accessing uh, what is deemed vital care. Mm -hmm. And I just interviewed RuPaul, and I talked to him about this. And it was a moment. You for talked me. to RuPaul no, about Alberta? I, yes, I did. And he had some words, which was amazing. And and he said, "Listen, when they're trying to take our joy away, uh, we just have more fun. We have more fun through our love, our singing, our dancing, uh, everyone coming together." What do you think about that? Well, as RuPaul says, <laughs> when they try to take away, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Yeah, um, honestly, I, I think that's that's so awesome. Cool. I, I love RuPaul, so that's super cool. Um, yeah, I mean, I think I find that a lot of queer content lies in the arts. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a huge step to, I guess, normalizing queer people and, and hopefully influencing, you know, the world and 
and just kind of normalizing that, that we exist in this world and that we're normal people and that we deserve the same treatment as anybody else. And hopefully one day we can exist in a world where we don't have to fight in order to live in this world. And I find that love is the only thing that ever actually changes anybody's mind. Mm -hmm. So once you know a queer person and you love a queer person, if you find out, oh, someone in my family who I already love is queer, that's when minds really start to change. And so for people who maybe don't realize they know queer people already, I mean, of course they do, but they don't know they do, that's what movies can do. You can watch uh, an hour and a half movie and hopefully feel such great affection for the mm -hmm. character that Vaughn has created in Robin that, oh, maybe it's hard to reconcile love and hate at the same time. Well said. Well, congratulations. It's such a good movie. Uh, so nice talking to you both. Yeah, thank you so much.